Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad you're here today. If you're new to the channel, me and my husband live on about 18 acres in the foothills of North Carolina with our two children. We raise about 80 to 90% of our own food. I'm a homeschool mom, etc., etc. So today what I'm gonna be showing you though is why I think our milk cow is one of the most important animals on our farm. And if you're thinking about getting a dairy cow, how that can benefit you on your homestead. Are you getting any in the bucket? I don't think so. <laughs> So this trailer is full of field corn that we grew uh, last summer and um, I'll link that video if you want to see that. It's some Hickory King, some Jimmy Red, and some Indian corn is what we have in there. I just have that thing set to where it barely does anything just to bust it open. Have it set right with us. And so what we'll do, we feed this some to the cows some to the pigs, some to the chickens. This is a good job for the kids. They enjoy selling the corn. The corn goes in this box and the bucket catches some of it, but we've got it in this box so it doesn't go to waste. And then we've got a little grinder set up on the side of this bucket trailer where we crack the corn. And I know you're thinking, what does this have to do with milk? But I'm gonna show you. Now the crank corn just goes to the chickens. Whole corn goes to the pigs, some to the cows. Hang on, let's see how much you got. You got a little bit more in there, keep going. I've got in here there's that corn you just saw was cracking and then also we buy sunflower seeds this time of year now in the summertime thanks to a YouTube subscriber uh, giving me this suggestion we throw sunflower heads into them we grow a lot of sunflowers um, and we'll just throw the heads in the reason we grow them is for the seeds to feed to the chickens so that's a mixture what I've got here so now what I'm gonna do is um, I get about a gallon a day, so if I have any extra milk, I always write the date on them so I know what's the oldest. And I'm just going to take that, pour it into my mixture. I'm going to give it a quick stir. a little less than a gallon of milk that I put in there. I'll let that sit. It's about 10 30 in the morning so I'll let that sit till this evening maybe around two or three o'clock. Let that corn soak up some of that milk and then I'll show you how I feed it to them. What do you want? Yes? <laughs> Most important critter on this farm right now. Ain't you, girl? Does that make you feel special? Does that make you feel special? Huh. It does. There are some days that I have a, just a little over a gallon. And for that, I don't waste an extra jar. So, Tiger gets raw milk just about every day. Don't come at me for that because she's done it since she was a puppy and we've had no issues vet says she's healthy as a horse so there you go girlfriend so i just sometimes i'll pour a little bit in her food like that she likes it like that or sometimes she'll just drink it in place of her well not in place but with her water she's getting protein calcium everything a growing dog could need 
so I forgot the video, but I put this in a pan. And the chickens absolutely love it. I forgot the video myself before now. Ain't that crazy? That's what this whole video is about. But I put it in a pan and they tear it up. This will be gone very, very soon. Chickens are somewhat lactose intolerant meaning that their bodies can't process lactose very well. So, of course, I'm giving them milk. In raw milk, there are enzymes that are killed in the pasteurization process that are not killed, you know, because if it's straight from the cow, right? So, don't look at me like that. Please don't look at me like that. Go on somewhere. Both of y'all. They're trying to figure out what I'm doing, I guess. But anyways, with raw milk, now I don't give them a lot. They get this two to three times a week, but I have noticed that it has made my eggshells much, much harder. And I've also noticed that it is helping with the feed. Um, they're not eating nearly as much feed with me giving them this. Now, yes, of course there is cracked corn in there and sunflower seeds that is feed itself. Um, but I think the milk I don't know. I think it helps them and I think it's good for them. I think that calcium that's in there is good for their eggs and there's also a lot of vitamins in there. I have seen no negative effects. There's people you'll talk to that says you can't feed milk to chickens. Well, these it has not bothered my chickens. I've not noticed them having diarrhea. I have not had any of them getting sick. Um, and I've been doing this for a couple months now. Um, and it has not bothered them in the least. They love this snack right here. They absolutely love the milk um, that I bring them. Now you can see it a little better. The guineas are still going to town on it, but um, I pour it in this feed pan and then they all, that just kind of, I do that so they don't waste the milk. They kind of drink it as they're eating the corn. But they're able to process raw milk more so than milk from the store, than pasteurized milk from the research that I've done. So I feel comfortable giving this to my chickens. Now it's questionable on giving them pasteurized milk because they are somewhat lactose intolerant. So do that at your own risk. Let me know in the comments if you fed pasteurized milk to your chickens and what the outcome was. Um, I'd like to know, I'd be curious to know. Um, but this is just one way another way that Belle is feeding our homestead. This right here, the cracked corn we grew, picked by hand. The cost in that, well, besides our time, was just the seed to plant it. Um, we didn't even really fertilize it, honestly. Um, and then the milk, I'm milking the cow every day anyway. Any extra milk, I see no problem with feeding it to my critters. So that there is another free food and then we do buy the sunflower seeds this time of year so i'm we're trying to look at any ways that we can cut feed costs because even though we're not nailed down to the grocery store we're not at the grasp of the grocery store having what we're needing we're at the grasp of the feed store having what we need so i feel like having this milk cow has really helped out with that so next i'm going to show y'all how I utilize my milk to feed my pigs and what kind of concoction I make for them. So first things first, this right here is some leftover buttermilk where I made butter yesterday. If you make butter every three days or so like I do, you'll have plenty of buttermilk to eat and cook with and also to feed. All right, next they're gonna get about a gallon of milk. Next thing added to our bucket will be two dozen eggs. And they'll bust those. Now I'm gonna scoop a couple of scoops of feed out of their feeder. And put it in my mixture here. So right now, before I add the feed, the mixture is buttermilk, milk, and eggs. All that is if you want to consider it free, we didn't purchase it from a feed store, which we didn't this feed either, but we do have to purchase the corn that goes in it. 
going to give it a good stir. All right, it's all stirred up. We're turning milk into pork. Is that right, guys? Now the pigs also don't get this every day, but I'm gonna tell you if I had enough milk, I would give them milk every single day um, to help them grow, uh, build strong bones. Um, and plus they just love it. They, they absolutely love it. You can hear them in there. Um, but so that's why I'm thinking once, uh, you know, Candy has a calf and I start milking her too, I'm finding all kinds of ways that I'm gonna be able to use this milk. Another way extra milk can be used, it can be diluted with water and used on your garden as like a fertilizer, as well as if you make cheese, the whey uh, can be fed to pigs and chickens and use this fertilizer. Um, so that's just another way to use up excess milk. Another thing the cow contributes to us is fertilizer for our pasture. Now our pasture doesn't look great right now if we're just now coming into the warm days of spring and we're also not able to do our pasture rotation like we normally do because I've got a bull up here right now and had some little heifers that I have to keep separated. So pasture's not in the greatest of shape at this moment, but um, we also have a sacrifice pasture we keep the cows in. We'll use that once it dries up for the summer and they're not really using that anymore. We'll scoop all that up and we'll start as a compost pile. It's just kind of an ongoing cycle. So there again, that's another way that she gives us fertilizer. Another thing to think about, I'm down here with my chickens, if you can't tell. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all what chickens do to cow pies. And this is why we keep them in the cow pasture. So they spread it out for you. See there? The cows lay the fertilizer and the chickens spread it for us. So um, that's just part of our uh, way we run things around here. But another thing to think about why a milk cow is a wonderful asset. So for a cow to have milk, of course they have to have a calf first. So they, again, if you time everything just right, you'll have beef once a year, roughly thereabout from your milk cow. So today I hope this video has encouraged you. Um, if you're up in the air about getting a family milk cow, wondering if it's worth it as far as financially goes um, to have all that milk and to have that commitment. In my personal opinion, I think it is. Uh, Cause not only is she contributing milk to our family, she's contributing so much more, so much more. And I truly believe at this point, she is one of the most important critters that we have. So when you really break it down, um, which she's an easy keeper and I hope Candy will be as well. But feeding our pigs, feeding our chickens, feeding our dogs and cats, feeding us, feeding the pasture, feeding the garden. You know, when you really break it down, she is important and she is worth it. So if you're ready to add that dairy cow to your homestead, I say go for it if you're ready for the commitment. And anyways, I appreciate you watching today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. That helps me out so, so much. And anyways, I'll talk to y'all next time.